Thousands of people took to the streets of Sri Lanka's capital to protest against worsening economic conditions, including shortages of fuel and essential goods. The protests in Colombo were led by the country's main opposition party, the United People's Force. The opposition has blamed the economic crisis on President Rajapaksa's government and comes as the Sri Lankan parliament debated the national budget for 2022. Protesters say that Rajapaksa's policies have resulted in dwindling foreign reserves, high food prices and shortages of essential goods like milk powder, cooking gas and fuel. They also blame the government's decision to steer the country towards organic farming and ban chemical fertilizer imports which has threatened to create a food crisis. People are unable to feed for themselves. Mothers and children are suffering from malnutrition. The industrial sector has completely collapsed. Unemployment is a rising issue. There are huge shortages of essential goods. According to the World Bank, Sri Lanka's foreign reserves reduced to only two months' worth of imports in August, and the local rupee currency depreciated 7.4% against the U.S. dollar in the first eight months of 2021. The Sri Lankan government tried price controls and even declared a state of emergency, but has so far failed to keep prices under control or even stop holding. And for more on this, our correspondent Dasuni Thaudia has sent us this report from Colombo. Thousands of protesters gathered near the Golfist roundabout last evening for the protest march that was organized by the main opposition party in Sri Lanka, the Samagi Janabala Vegya, to voice their protest against the present government and its failure to deliver election promises. Now, just yesterday, we did see police from across the country preventing certain protesters from other districts from entering Colombo. However, towards the evening, a massive crowd of protesters was seen at the Gulf Face roundabout. That's not all. Day before yesterday, health guidelines were revised once again, preventing mass protests and gatherings from taking place until further notice. However, this protest did take place with a large number of protesters that were seen to have gathered in Colombo. Health authorities do say that this might lead to an unnecessary rise in COVID-19 cases. And that's the latest from here in Colombo. Reporting for We On World Is One, I'm Dasni Atalda. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.